Mertz Jaffer here with the latest Big Brother Canada contestant to be evicted out of the house. I am here with now. I have practiced it all day, so correct me if I'm wrong, okay? Like, one of your family members told me to make sure I get it right. Uh, Dennis. Yes! Okay. Perfect. How many people, How many people have gotten it right today? Uh, 99.9%. Uh, .9%. Okay, cool. Okay, sounds good. Okay, let's get right into it. Was Vivek's move to backdoor you the worst move in Big Brother Canada history? Um, there are other moves, but it's this is definitely up there. Uh, not only for what hap is going to happen in the house and his reputation, but even outside. I know we're not, we shouldn't think about outside the house, but even outside the house. Uh, I don't think people will react well. In terms of just how how the move is perceived, yeah, yeah, yeah. The the betrayal, uh, like it didn't even make sense. So why do, why do it? Why? Can you take me back to the beginning of your relationship with him? How it evolved and how it eventually devolved and disintegrated. Um, he was he slept near me. Uh, and uh, I I honestly don't know what that spark was. We saw something in each other, and then we agreed very casually to exchange a little bit of information and that information grew into specific information and we started trusting each other more and more and more and every night we would get together at the end of the night and exchange that information and we played it very low key until he was on the block uh and something about it reached out to my heart and and i took the time out my outside of my game to sit down and get him out of his own headspace uh and just give him tools to deal with what was going on uh telling him truthfully that he's playing too hard and just mentor him almost um but it was a personal level and that grew into a more gameplay level where i bestowed him some knowledge that uh he later used on me um but it was very sincere uh and there was one thing that spicy v had said to me about rohan in her season uh, that Rohan keeps uh, mentioning, he regretted not taking off his number one off the mm -hmm, block. Mm -hmm. and that resonated with me mm -hmm. so much. Uh, and that, it, it clouded me, I guess, because i that's what I needed to do. I needed to take him off the block because we were working well and I needed that. That is that is a really great parallel with uh, Rohan and Austin. That I, I didn't even make that connection until you just said it. Um, you seemed to, as I've mentioned before, have a strong relationship with him. Who do you think got him to target you? How were they able to persuade him? Um, and I mean, really, this all comes down to, did you think that he would be loyal to the person that literally saved him a week ago? I expected that, <laughs> yes, for him to be loyal. And I was a tool. I mean, I saved him not only mentally from himself, I saved him from the block. But I went around rehabilitating his reputation because he was seen as a liar. And I mm -hmm. told people, don't vote him off. This is someone, this is the devil you know. This is someone that is now then predictable and you can use that. Um, sorry, what was the rest of the things you were saying? Um, just in general, like, um, who do you think got him to turn? Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, definitely someone with a golden tongue. And we all know who that is. It would be Anthony. Uh, I think Vivek, it, like a, a lot of people in the house, are impressionable. Mm -hmm. uh, and Anthony, through his skills, which are great and are known, that's why he's an all-star, was able to give Vivek that cod coddling? No, that... that Coddling, coddling. Yeah, just, yeah, that's what he needed to hear. That's what yeah. his insecurities maybe needed to hear. He needed to feel with the boys, and Anthony provided the words that he needed. Save for a few exceptions, like one of the things that I noticed was you played... You know, of course, everybody who plays is a little bit emotional, but really you were a very sort of rational thinker, I felt like, whereas, you know, after he did sort of the backdoor nomination was emotional, like there were like tears. How difficult how difficult was it for you as somebody who I saw as like quite rational to work with somebody who was a little bit more emotional? All of them are. All mm -hmm. of them are emotional, mm -hmm. except for Lexus, uh, Tola, uh, Todd, all of them are emotional, I feel. Um, and it wasn't, I, I knew I needed that person in the house. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm an extrovert, but I need an introvert mm -hmm. to balance me out and to bounce ideas off of. And that's what he provided. He also shared with me that he is a software engineer, which I don't think anyone else knows in the house. And that to me was like, oh, so you, you like looking for patterns. You are also an analytical mind, mm -hmm. which helps me out as well. We can bounce these ideas. And if we can agree, 
then that's something we can move on yeah. with that. Okay, that's the truth. Let's move on with that. For someone who knows the show as well as you do, you still ended up uh, winning quite a few competitions early. By a few, I mean like two. Um, do you regret putting yourself out there as much as you did? Um, I could have easily thrown that first one because half of it was in the dark. Uh, mm -hmm. That would have been an easy way to throw. Uh, I, I, owed, I didn't think it mattered because Janine was clearly the target. Anthony said that. So no matter what I did, it didn't it didn't matter. Yeah. It to be honest though, the fanboy in me screamed, you have to win these comps. You have to. Yeah. As a fan, just win these bloody comps. I was so close. It, it, what is it? I wasn't even trying because I knew these comps. I've seen them before. I knew yeah. how to approach them. The fanboy is just like, just just yeah. win it. Just well, win it. Second yeah, one especially and because it gave me safety. Well, and and in addition, like the one thing about the competitions is that that's something you can control. While you can't control the other factors or the social dynamic, the con the comps are something you can control in your own hands. And it also made me look useful. I can say, mm -hmm. listen, I'm a competitor. Mm -hmm. Even to Anthony, I can win these things. Keep me around because you won't be able to do that. I have proven. What did you think when you saw Anthony and Spicy enter the house and how much did their presence affect your strategy going in? It reversed everything. It changed everything. I was going to be the Anthony or the Spicy. I was the one with all the knowledge of these games and I wanted to operate that through mm -hmm. rational thought. I didn't have a golden tongue like Anthony expertly does. Um, and as soon as they came in, you had to change. Uh, on top of that, there was the entourage twist. So now you owe loyalty to these two people uh, and they're good. One of them is going to wait in HOH. So everything that you would have done with the house guests, you now have to do with only these two people. It was stacked against us. It was totally mm -hmm. stacked for them. Is there anyone who has the capacity to stop Spicy and Anthony now as most of their detractors are out of the house? That is going to be hard. Uh, there are a lot of people on board with the idea, but they're just looking for that person which I thought I was to actually do it. Mm -hmm. uh, although I feel like there is a mole that is causing some paranoia amongst the girls. And that's why I couldn't solidify things. Uh, and as I continue this day, I'm sensing that it is spicy V. Um, I don't think there's one person. I think there's a group of people that have to come together to do it. Mm -hmm. I would love to say that Tola would do it, but I don't think he will. Um... Well, just stay in the middle. Well, that, that's a great segue to my next question. Uh, you and Janine were the two oldest players in the house. How much of a factor does that play in connecting with the other house guests, if at all? Um, Not for me. Uh, I'm the type of person that if you put me in any sort of social situation, a cocktail party, I can get along with anyone. I can mm -hmm. talk politics, uh, property taxes to Taylor Swift's new album. Uh, like my two websites are the news channel, CNN and TMZ. I have I, I have a breadth of knowledge that I can bring. So the age was not a factor. The fact that people didn't think I was 48 was just an ego boost. Like, thank you for the props to my skincare regime. Uh, but that wasn't a thing. I liked Janine, not because of her age, because we knew each other were super fans. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And that's something I could have totally used if she stayed later on. You are a fan of the show, as we know. What did you learn the most from actually getting to play? pushing myself outside of my comfort zone. Uh, I think in, in life, we get too comfortable with what we have. It's sort of an entitlement. Like we just aren't comfortable with that. And this competition gives you nothing. You are thrown into, you saw that first comp, like that was insane. And I held on for, I don't even know how long with that noise in the background. I can't do that stuff in day, daily, but you're just put into it. You have nothing to do but survive to, to succeed in these comps, to push yourself. And even... I did this analogy earlier when you're at a cocktail party or a party and you're kind of like, okay, I'm over this conversation. I'm just going to pretend to go to the bathroom just to get yes. out. No, you were on 24 hours and you have to, there were times where like, I'm just going to go hide. And then five minutes later, like, no, you need to go back out there. You need mm -hmm. to just be a presence amongst them. So you were just pushing yourself constantly. And that's what I learned about myself. Now the question that I've been dying to end the interview on uh, the one that like, uh, I can't wait for the answer to, which is, if you got another chance to play again, would it be more important to you to go farther in the game or to get Vivek back if he's playing in the same game? I think both 
are the same. No, but that's not the question. No, it's got to be one or the other. It's either column A or column B. I would. T it, I could totally bring him to final two and win against him. Um, I would be ruthless. The the burning the house. I misspoke. I would burn him down. So so to answer, it would be getting Vivek back versus getting further. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There you go. All right. Um, okay. Wait. I got to say it right again. Okay. Dennis, thank you so Dennis. much. Thank you, sir. Right. Have a great day. Thanks. Thank you.